Hello everybody, my name is Aaron aka Pulling Teeth and welcome back to part 2 and the conclusion to the tournament just because here in, P well not in PTW, PTW is just what I used in this game. Either way, in Fire Pro Wrestling, <laughs> do you see I am completely all out of whack while trying to record this. I just recorded the last episode and it was insanity. It generally was insanity. Uh, I'm wondering whether I should make this whole doing tournaments in random games like a series. Because I kind of like it. Mm, can't lie. I kind of like doing the occasional mini tournament. It's nice. Anyway, we had some absolutely killer matches in the last episode. We had Mitsuhawa Masawa tap out Kota Ibushi. We had Kenji, Kenji Muto knock out Kazuchika Okada. Kenta Kabashi knock out Vader. And we had Jusha Vidalaga tap out Suzuki. I did I say Suzuki twice? Ibushi and Suzuki. Either way, Masawa beat Ibushi, Liga beat Suzuki. So that means that in this episode we are getting Mitsuhawa Masawa versus Kenji Muto. We are getting Kenta Kabashi versus Jushin from the Liga. And the winners of both meet in the final. All in this one today, folks. Without any further ado, let's just dive in. Masawa, Muto, let's go. Who are we pulling for? Who we think is walking away with the win this one? Who do we think is making it to the final? Masawa or Muto? Masawa tapped out Kota Ibushi with a rolling camel clutch in the last episode. And it was a hell of a match. Hell of a way to kick off the start of the tournament. And then following that, Muto knocked out Kazuchika Okada with the Shining Wizard. Ronnie kneed him in the face, he was unconscious. So I don't know who's got the advantage going into this one. The great Kenji Muto. Who do we think is walking away the victor? Red Shoes rings the bell and here we go. Masawa, Muto. Dream match of the ages, and already we're like less than 20 seconds in, and Muto has misted Masawa. He's even more green than he usually is. Masawa, though, is not going to let that stop him. Goes to the discus elbow, doesn't connect. Does with that one, though. Elbow drops to the back of Muto's head. Deadlift German holds it in for the pin. One. Just a one count. Big drop kick, though, from Muto. Muto. I don't even know how you'd want to pronounce it. Depends on where he's going with it. One, two, just a two count. Off the ropes. Slides underneath. Charges in. Both men collide, but neither go down. Tiger Driver. One, two. My god, these men are not. They're not building into this one. There's no slow build in this match. They've just gone full whack from the start. They're supposed to both one match down and now they have one more match to go if they win. Oh, Muto might be thinking that incredibly long distance moonsault. Which is impressive as hell when you see him do it. When he covers like the entire ring. Muto now locking in the submission, locking in the figure four. And another miss to the face of the Emerald Warrior. Up top, there's the moonsault, but knees! Oh, and he's up. Deadlift German. Far too close to the ropes. Go behind. Back elbow. Discus elbow strike there. Covers from Masawa. One, two. Just a two count. Muto still in this. There's that backbreaker, rib breaker thing that he likes to do. Masawa charges it with another elbow strike. Goes behind. And he's thinking. Tiger suplex. One. Two. Holds it in for the pin. Nearly gets the three. Going back to his days as Tiger Mask. A wheel kick attempt. Didn't land. That elbow strike did though. And that chop did. Elbows to the chin. Followed by chops to the chest. And boom. Spins and a miss. Oh, <laughs> both men collapsing there. 
And another dragon screw. Working on the knees. Goes back to the figure four. That's the combination right there. Now it's how you work on someone's leg. Masawa just threw Muto to the floor to give himself a bit to catch his breath. And we get the feeling back in his knee. Muto just grabs a chair. He can only hold on to it for a few seconds in the ring without getting disqualified. He didn't even get a chance to use it. He got caught by multiple elbows by Masawa. So charges in, crossbody. Falls on him for the pin. Nearly got the victory, but not quite. Muto still in it. Nice. But jumping TNA kick to the back of the head. And a moonsault to the spine. Drags him away. Rolls it through. Cover. Forearm to the face. Only a two count. Well, here we go. Oh my god. Tiger driving 90. Whatever it was. Was it 92? It nearly got him there. Another missed. Goes up top. What's he thinking? Thinking missile drop kick. Muto now. Caught. Emerald Flourishing center of the ring. Cover by Masawa. One. Two. 2.9. Muto is still in it. Though he did just crumple after that last shot. Running cross body again. Holds him down for the pin. But he's not able to get the victory. Still can't get the three count. Tiger driver again. The one dropping him high on his head. The variation of the Tiger driver. Wheel kick dropped Masawa. Muta Moonsault. Staring down the camera. But apparently he was in the ropes. And again another miss to the face. It's like he's trying to paint the top half of Masawa's body green too. Wheel kick. Another big drop kick. Muta's building a lot of momentum now. Goes up top. Moonsault from Muta. Covers him. Pinning him down. Pressed down with the hands. But no. Still not enough. Every time that Masawa goes to that discus elbow. Muta's got it countered. Moonsault are nearly halfway across the ring. And another Tiger driver. He's not even going for the normal ones anymore in this match. He's just dropping Muta on his head. Because he knows what he's got to do. Muta with the Muta lock. Busting out his own namesake move. Got an escape. One more time. Masawa Emerald Flosion. Cover after the Flosion. Two. Just again a two count. What is it going to take for either man to get a substantial advantage over the other? Another moonsault. And apparently Masao was able to reach the ropes. It looked like Mujer had positioned himself in a way that he couldn't, but I guess I was wrong. Figure four leg lock. Got him trapped. And he's got him to submit. I did not see that coming. I did not see Masawa tapping out to the figure four. But apparently Muta has his number. Kenji Muto is moving on to the finals of this tournament. Figure four leg lock. We've only had submissions and knockouts so far. This might as well have been an MMA rules tournament. Nobody's actually won with a pin yet. Will that change here with Kenta Kabashi and Jushin Thunder Liger? Two of the most popular performers on the eastern side of the world. And here comes Kenta Kabashi. The orange crush himself. Slowly making his way down to the ring. He knows he's got a tough task ahead of him. And he knows that if he manages to beat Liger, Muta is waiting for him in the finals. And Liger knows the same. Can he go through Kabashi and then Muta to walk away the victor tonight? Muta is going to be watching this one incredibly closely. Let's find out. Red Shoes rings the bell. 
Steady start for a second, but no. Oh my god, start the match with a tombstone pile driver. Liger's got a game plan, end this quickly. You can't say you blame him. Makes sense to try and end it quickly. Butterfly suplex. End the match as fast as you can. Because you know you've got another one to go afterwards. And you saw how brutal Masawa and uh, Muta was. If you can end this match quick, then you might have an advantage. And a running bulldog there from Liger. Everybody had a brutal first round. Let's see how we go now. Chops to the sides of each side of Liger's head. Trying to cauliflower his ears. Big pinfall. Staring at the ceiling, staring at the sky, staring at the lights, so however you want to put it. Another tombstone there from Liger. Liger busting out two of them already. Goes behind, but gets caught. Bulldog! Looks like Kabashi. Knows what he wants to do. Both these men seem to have a similar game plan. Now, if a high impact moves that are working on the head. End it as fast as we can. Running like a bomb. Again, working the back of the head. That's also working on the spine. And what the hell? Powerbomb attempt for a reversal into a DDT. Kavashi not able to make the best of it like it was. Bleh, frog splash. That's what the name I was looking for. Big signal. Oh, again, a counter. Liger is busting out all the reversals in this one. Frog splash. One. Two! Just a two count. Liger has studied the tapes. Brain Buster! He is not letting Kabashi hit any of his big signature offense. Liger's got a counter for everything so far. And another kick out. And Kabashi. There it is! Orange Crush! He's not even thought about going for the, some of the smaller moves. And he just nearly got the victory. Liger popped up though. Kabashi is hurt. The early flurry from Liger has done its work. That's the move that he managed to get Suzuki to tap out to in the first round. Kabashi is able to escape it. Lariat attempt didn't connect. But this powerbomb might. Dropping Liger high. Chopping at nothing. And the Orange Crush knocked out Vader in round one. But he busted out a bit too early in this one. And Liger managed to survive it. Especially after an early flurry where Kabashi's strength was probably weakened. He wasn't able to hold the pin in as well. He just got brain busted to the floor. Another crossbody over the top. We saw him pulling those out in the first round. Kabashi reverse the power bomb there by Liger dropping Kabashi on his head on the floor. He quickly runs back into the ring. Smart move. Oh, we just got clocked in the head with a chair and Liger's clapping. Stands him up. Liger was going for something, but he got caught into another power bomb. This is a definite strength versus speed style match. Running leg drop, brother, brother. And double arm DDT. Both men down, taking the second to catch their breath. Half and half lands on the chair. Kabashi now. Got caught with that back elbow. Lager. Puts Kabashi in the corner. Follows him in. Capo kick in the corner. Again, staring at the crowd. Goes up top. Diving headbutt to the back of the head. Goes up again. Is he going for the combination? Shooting star. He is going for a combination. Different combination, though. Not the one that won him the first round. One. Two. Oh, so close. We get so far. Kabashi. Orange crush again. One. Two. No. Liger is still in it. Spinning back chop. Kabashi. Full head of steam. I don't know why they just teleported, but burning Larry at one. Two. For some reason, they teleported around the ring. Don't know how or why. Running like a bomb. But far too close to the ropes. He's not hit that once so far. And it not be in the ropes. 
Just as I say that, he manages to land it perfectly centre of the ring. Two, three, and it gets the victory for him. Oh, that's what was needed. Hit the running Liger bomb, but hit it actually correctly. Jushin Thunder Liger moves on to the finals. He is taking on Kenji Muto. When I started this tournament, that is not the finals I expected. But it's the finals we've got, and damn it, they've both earned it. And without wasting any further time, Muto, Liger, let's do this. If you've made it this far, did your initial pick make it to the end? Did the first person you saw in this tournament that you thought was going to win, have, are they one of the two in the finals? Tell me and tell me honestly. You know what? Tell me as well if your favourite wins. If they were your favourite going in. If they make it to the end and win. You've done well. But anybody who's already had a favourite eliminated. Who do you think's walking away with the victory now? Are you calling it as Muta? Are you calling it as Liger? We're about to find out. Red Shoes, ring that damn bell. And already Liger dragging Muta over to the corner and goes into that submission game. And this entire tournament, we have had one match end in pinfall. One. And it was Liger's last match against Kabashi. With a running Liger arm. Shote! One. Two. Already Liger getting the early flurry in. Moved with the big drop kick. Look, goes for the Shote again. Doesn't pick. Goes for the jumping TNA kick. Doesn't hit. <laughs> Tracking screw to Muta. Do his own move against him. The masked men. Or two of the three masked men that were in this tournament. Have made it to the final. Nice butterfly suplex. Now you full head of steam, but Muta gets up before he can do anything. Nice wheel kick from Muta. Or Muto, I should say. Cross arm breaker there, not able to keep him down. There's that back breaker. Go behind though from Muta, who's caught. Bulldog! Is that like a learn something from Kabashi in the last one? Liger stands him up, gets caught right to the eyes, kind of. Tombstone! Liger's pulled that out in each one of his matches and it's helped him tremendously. He pulled it out right at the start, the last one. There's escape of that submission. There's the figure four. The move that put away Masawa and got Muto into this final. Another tombstone from Liger. Liger dragged him out. Goes up top. Liger's thinking elbow drop right to the ribs. And now he's thinking another sort of surfboard, but it's more of a bow and arrow stretch. Again, Muta escaping. Punch to the face. Drop kick attempt does not land. Muta up top. Moonsault to the spine. Rolls him over. Pins him somewhat disrespectfully, but not even a two count. And Liger is out. Whoa. Wheel kick, capo kick, both attempts at the same time. Got both men. Overhead chops to the chest. Back and forth they go. Elbow to the top of the head. Muto gets the better of that exchange. Don't know what he was thinking there. Shote misses. We thought we might be thinking brain bust. We thought Sky and a screwdriver instead. Do you think he's running like a bomb? He is center of the ring. This won him the last match. It's won him the semis. Oh, and it almost won him the final, but Muta is still in it. Dragon screw. Into the figure four. This one in the semis. And another escape. Both men throwing some of their best shots at each other. Muta was thinking of something, but Liger drops him with another Steiner screwdriver. Bowman was tired though. Liger still recovered quickest. Schoolboy roll up. Right in the corner. No, nearly had it. 
Imagine this whole tournament ended on a roll-up. That'd be a very WWE move. Brain Buster! Cover after Brain Buster, one, two, 2.9, he almost got there. Am I thinking another one maybe? Yes he is! And another pinfall. Is he going to get the victory? Yes he is! Jushin! Thunder! Liger! Has done it! He has won through... Won through? He has gone through Minoru Suzuki, Kenta Kabashi and Kenji Muto to win this tournament just because... <laughs> And the finals was the worst rated match in the whole tournament. Sounds about right. You know what? I'm okay with it. <laughs> that was fun. I like doing these. Thank you everybody so much for joining me in this one. It has been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. All the fun stuff and we will see you in the next one. Bye.